What's gray, thirsty, 100 feet long, goes 800 miles a day, and constantly changes shoes? It's one of Bonneville Transloader Incorporated's fleet of heavy-duty tractor trailers. Using these long rigs, this trucking company hauls nearly 3,000 tons of material every day of the year. Experience and record keeping helps this company predict its major operating expenses. The use of math, mostly statistics and averaging, keeps it healthy and profitable. Bonneville Transloaders Incorporated is also known as BTI. They're headquartered in Riverton, Wyoming. BTI is a mid-sized trucking company specializing in bulk goods transportation. Much of the company's business comes from soda ash transport. Soda ash is manufactured in southwestern Wyoming. In raw form, it's called trona, which is mined from one of the world's richest reserves over a thousand feet below the surface. Processing plants convert trona to soda ash and then ship it to manufacturers of glass, detergents, and cleaning compounds. Railroads move most of Wyoming soda ash, but only one railroad directly serves Wyoming's five soda ash factories. Some customers prefer to use a different railroad, but the closest it comes to the soda ash region is about 140 miles away. So BTI picks up the soda ash in their trucks and hauls it over the Continental Divide to a rail yard in central Wyoming. A typical driver's work shift involves driving the truck from Riverton to Green River. There he picks up a load of soda ash and takes it to the rail yard near Shoshone. After dumping the load, the empty truck is driven to Riverton and prepared for the next driver. A round trip, including loading and unloading, takes about 10 hours. Besides driving, what else do these drivers do? Uh, loading, unloading, uh, checking the tires, checking the oil, washing the windows, uh, anything to do with the truck itself. And that includes the most basic chore, refueling the truck. Maintenance is carefully scheduled. A combination of manufacturer recommendations, record keeping, and experience goes into developing the maintenance plan. Good record keeping determines when oil changes and tire rotations and replacements take place. These trucks have been selected for their reliability, and engine overhauls are planned at the 500,000 mile mark. One good predictor of the engine's condition is an oil analysis. It's done every time the oil is changed, about 15,000 miles. A sample is taken when the oil is changed and sent to a laboratory to be examined. Some engine wear and tear is normal and shows up as small quantities of metal particles. However, special types of metal shavings, antifreeze, or simply a lot of metal particles in the oil indicate serious problems. The engine may be scheduled for an immediate overhaul or simply monitored more closely as it continues to be used. Each truck represents a significant investment, and they work hard for that investment. Unless scheduled to be in the shop, each truck works around the clock, seven days a week. At any time, most of BTI's fleet is on the road. BTI's overland route crosses the Continental Divide at South Pass, Wyoming. For every trip, South Pass is crossed twice. When the trucks are loaded with soda ash, brake wear is also a concern. On the uphill, it doesn't bother us. On the downhill, depending on the conditions and the weather, uh, we have extreme brake wear with the weight that we are hauling. So we get approximately 50, 40 to 50,000 miles out of a set of brake shoes. And when you say a set of brake shoes, how many sets would that be on this rig right here? On this particular here, there's 13 axles, so that'd be 13 sets of brake shoes. 13 axles means this truck also has a lot of tires. 30 tires for this rig. At nearly $300 for each tire, 
Dave Witt's responsibility is to get the most out of every tire BTI buys. The newest tires always go to the steering wheels. Because there's so much pivoting action going on and so much scrubbing that uh, we want the best tires. As tires wear, they're rotated to the tractor drive axles and eventually to the trailer. Then the way you go down, you can actually go to a used mud and snow or something because it's not as critical. The thickness of tire tread is measured in 30 seconds of an inch. Typically, your new tires have how many 30 seconds of tread on them? 26. 26, 30 seconds. For a and drive. For the drive line. And then uh, typically when the tire is considered to be uh, worn out, how many 30 seconds remain on the tread? Four 30 seconds. Dave estimates that each 30 second of an inch of wear on a tire provides 4,750 miles of travel. Tire wear varies between the summer and winter seasons. Uh, winter time actually is a lot less because heat is what damages the tire. The hotter it is, the faster tire will wear out. BTI is profitable because it manages its expenses so well. We've developed some math problems that BTI faces every day as they keep company costs under control. We'll just look at some basic expenses. Fuel mileage, oil changes, tires, engine overhauls. Let's see how math works in the real world. 